Hey guys, it's Tess with another video. So today I'm doing some bubble letter nails. And these are just some of the products I used. These are only the products I used for pretty much um, one hand. Um, on the other hand, I used just a couple different products. Um, but here I am putting base coat. And I doubled up on my nail tips instead of using the extra extra long ones I normally use because I wanted that curve and um, that super bulky square I was trying to go for like a 90s vibe and I feel like I did a good job but you know keep watching okay so on this hand I used um, this purple jam color if you actually look up purple jam by Macar on Amazon this color will pop up it's pretty translucent, it's like a jelly color, and I liked it because, I don't know, I just feel like the jelly color went well with this concept. Sorry if I sound kind of out of it, guys. I'm just really tired and I'm hungry. <laughs> so I might not be like super energetic like normal. So as you can see, I did the purple jam color on my thumb, my middle finger, and my pinky. And on the other two fingers, I'm going to be doing um, a white color from Gershon. But what I did is I did like this two bead method because I just, I feel like it's too messy when I put one big glob on the nail and try and work with it. It's just too much for me. So I'm going to be carrying this in the lamp and then taking it back out and then putting another layer. So here are the nails and now I'm just going in with a file and just trying to shape the nails up and then um, I actually, I don't know if you guys have seen my other video but I got a new table with a dust collector so I turned that on so that it could collect all that extra dust. So in a minute you're gonna see me kind of do this little trick that I've been doing lately to keep my files like lasting longer I take like a nail drill and I rub it over the file to get all that extra like product off if any product came off on the file and it actually per works pretty well Something about this white Gershon poly gel though, I, I don't know what's wrong with it. Like lately it just hasn't been curing correctly because when I file, flakes will start popping off of it. If somebody can tell me why it does that, that'd be great. But none of my other poly gels do that with Gershon and this is the only one that I always have a hard time with. So yeah, I don't know. I had the same problem in my blue poly gel video as well. I'll link it in the corner. Okay guys, so sorry if you hear my baby in the background by the way, um, she's um, in the room with me. So I am doing the bubble letters and I am 
actually using a reference photo. You can find any reference photo on Google Images. Just search up like bubble letters. And I'm kind of just eyeballing it. Uh, it took me a few tries. Oh, my voice just cracked. It took me a few tries to get it right for each letter. So don't be discouraged if, you know, you feel like you keep messing up. Because also... Um, what I did to put the color in is I used a dotting tool and if there was a line that was too thick I would just go over that black line with the pink color, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute And this is where I'm realizing that I really didn't like the first a I did so here I am just wiping it off with some um, nail surface cleaner. And here I am trying it again. Like I said, it takes a few tries. Um, I found this uh, nail style kind of, or this um, font kind of difficult to do. I think it's just cause I couldn't, for some reason I wanted to do like the drops as if like the bubble letters were melting or something. and. The drops I was doing was just not, it was just not it. Like it just didn't, it just didn't hit right for me. So I, I had to keep doing it and doing it and doing it, so. And guys, sorry, throughout the bubble letter portion of the video, it was very, very hard for me to stay in frame because, you know, it's hard to focus on painting while trying to keep your hand in frame, so. You know just bear with me I tried to crop it while I was editing the best I could to hopefully fix that problem so as you can see here you can kind of see what I'm talking about I kind of made like a little drop as if the letter was melting and I know it looks a little funny right now but it looks so much better once all the letters are done and put together. So I had cured the outline and then this is what I was talking about. If there's a line that is too thick, just go over um, a portion of that line with the paint that you're choosing to color the letters. And it looks so cute. Yes, baby, color. <laughs> Okay guys, so I cut the bubble letter short. I just wanted to give you a rough idea of what I was doing because it was just too hard, like I said, to film and to paint um, with such precision and detail. Um, so here I am just putting on some gems. I am just winging it, as you can see here. So I'm just figuring out what looks cute, what doesn't. <laughs> I'm noticing here the nail shape is looking a little bit funky, <laughs> but I had to double up on the tips to get the curved look, so I think that's why it looked kind of weird. So um, we'll just ignore that. <laughs>
here is the thumbnail I was trying to get it like as bougie as possible because I feel like a lot of nails in the 90s were as extravagant as they could get like yep you know nails now are super extravagant but I feel like they were super long super curved super extra super vibrant with color so I was trying to achieve that and as you can see I also put tiny little gems around the letters and they look so bomb thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate all of you I love you so much make sure you like comment and subscribe bye